Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. And it has been some time since I did a quick video for you, but my face has been a little crazy. So um, for those of you who don't know about, um, well, January 1st, I had to start using chemotherapy cream. I had some um, sun damaged cells, not cancer, but pre-cancer. And they kept coming and the dermatologist said, let's just nip it in the bud. So I have my coffee. So we um, did the cream. It didn't really, I was supposed to start with two weeks and it didn't really get to the point that she was happy in two weeks. So she had me go for an entire month. Uh, which is why I have been a little bit missing because I've just not been feeling very comfortable. It hurts. And I'll show you. So under my eyes and in the creases here is the worst. And then all these little dots are a potential future cancer cell that we're zapping, but they itch really bad. So I haven't been getting much sleep at night because I'm trying very hard. No, nobody, you don't want it in the candle. Trying really hard not to scratch because we do not... Excuse me. Hi, Wellington. Hi, you coming up to say hi? No. Um, I'm trying not to scratch so I don't get scarring. So it's been like that. But I'm here today and I want to share with you what I picked up at the Dollar Tree. And there's a mishmash of stuff in here. And you know what? I haven't even been to the Dollar Tree in like two weeks because I haven't been going out much. Oh, and I also had a death in the family. Uh, I don't say unexpectedly, but we weren't anticipating it right when it happened. Uh, my aunt passed away. She had cancer for many years and has been, you know, bravely battling it. So I also had to run out of town for a couple days too. Um, she didn't have children. She had us and we loved her dearly. So cousin, brother, and I had to go and start that process. So I've just been a little bit busy, but I'm back. Dollar Tree Hall. Let's go. So they have the East. Oh, I'm getting weird shadowing here. The Easter bat, uh, the Easter white tree. I have the pink one up at work, which I may just leave up for Easter. What's the matter, Alex? But I did pick up a white one just in case. And this is, like I said, a note order. I'm sorry. What? But it gets better. And you've probably seen all this stuff. I've had it for some time, but... I'm over here, Alex. He's at the door because he's crazy. Trying to get a thumbnail without a shadow. And a cat. Come here, Alex. So these are adorable. Do you see this? She has sequins. What? It's that sequins and the little ponytails. I assume it's a she. I don't know. And this one. I can't wait. I love them. Um, they had new uh, St. Patrick's Day stuff out this year, which I think is super fun. Uh, maybe I think that's what's in here. Yes. Oh, look at this little one. I will tell you at work, I have the Easter gnome that's like this. It's hard plastic. I have it using it as a tree topper. So maybe I'll take the white Christmas tree and paint it green or like gold and then put this on top for my office. I have to go to work three days a week now, but this thing is cool. Oh, you can put it on your rear view mirror too. But it's just made out of like the Christmassy tinsel-y stuff. I can tell you when I bought this. I've had this since the 3rd of January. I know. Okay, I have all kinds of stuff in this bag. So let's start. I need to pull it out. Okay, so they have the metal with the shamrock in the middle. So this is metal and this is wood, and I love it. I'm not a huge decorator of St. Patrick's Day, but I thought this would be fun. They have these little um, ornaments, but you could just hang them anywhere, and it's obviously the clover and these wooden beads. They also have the long ones right the with the bead and then shamrock on the end that says lucky which these are fun for tear trays i took my tear tray down in my kitchen so we'll see if i bring it back up questionable 
This one, same green. It just says Happy St. Patrick's Day. And then they, oh, they did have another ornament. Oh, wait, another long garland. And this one has the little gnome attached to it. But I also like the idea that I can take these beads off of here and I have some red ones left and you're getting two shades of green and white and make Christmas garland too. I have all the red ones from Valentine's Day. So those are the St. Patrick's Day ones. And, oh, and this one is an or another thing, but I want to take that to work and hang it on my cubicle because nothing says Happy St. Patrick's Day like a rainbow. Alex! I don't know what is wrong with this animal of mine. Um, I can't remember if this is the same colors they had last year. I do love this cute little bunny. The pastels I'm dying for. They're so pretty for Easter. Like, I love this color palette right here, and I might have to, like, create it for Easter. So I have that one. Now, I feel like they have different they're the same, but they have different little charm things on the end. And this is just obviously a little tiny carrot with the green fringe. And then this one had the little, the little duck. And then the yellow, pink, and white garland. Or, yeah, beaded garland. So I got a lot of beaded garland, guys. But I think it's super fun to decorate with. I love just rolling it up and sitting it on a counter or a table or in a basket of some sort. I think that is really fun. Right, Alex? He said, yes. Um, on the lines of Easter, I picked up these two because I said I'm leaving the pink tree at work for Easter with the pink gnome on top, and I'm just gonna take the heart ornaments down and put up these eggs after Valentine's Day. So I'll have, that should be plenty for one of those little plastic trees. And I think that will be so fun. This is weird lighting today. It's dark out. So I couldn't go with a natural light. Oh, and for Luna, they have the milk bone in the Valentine. She likes these little biscuits. And they're just the milk bones. But these ones are pink, red, and white. And they're minis because she's a little dog. So I have these for her when she comes to visit me. And I'll give her like two or three at a time. She likes them. Um, for my brother's dog, he is a big, she, look, Jody is a little bigger than Luna. I got some of these Dingo dental sticks. Hold on. I need to make sure this is not rawhide. I can't read it. I'll have to read the ingredients when I have better light. But these are just some chewy sticks for her, for her teeth. I thought she would enjoy some dingo dental sticks. It says made with real chicken. But it also doesn't say rawhide free. So I need to read on that. Oh, I got some snack bags. There's some zip bags. So I haven't been to Ikea lately. Ikea has the best zip bags, but I just needed some for my storage and packing lunches. Although I try not to use them for lunch packing, but I do need them for my freezer. So I just grabbed a pack of that because we all need those. Um, I grabbed four boxes of these. I could not believe when I found these. These are Slim Fast Keto Fat Bombs. They are um, usually like $6.99, $7.99, and I got them for $1.25. Um, the store had a bunch, so I grabbed four boxes, and I've already put the other three away, and I left this to show you. These are, for one, 90 calories. You get eight grams of fat. There are seven carbohydrates, two erythritol, so five carbs and two grams of protein but for me I use them as like a meal replacement or if I'm on the go or out running errands and stuff um I use them like if I'm hungry so it's more of a meal situation for me oh look at this this is adorable I will open one and show I have one open but txt precision 20 bandages so it's just a pack of Band-Aids, which I think I have an obsession with Band-Aids, but whatever. But it comes in this little clear container that opens up and then you pull your Band-Aids out. Alex! I don't know what his problem is. 
compliments. But I thought these were great. So I grabbed one for myself and one for Sarah. Sarah is my niece and Luna is her dog. Right? Right. Um, I picked these up for my brother. They're poop bags, enough said. Um, but at his apartment, he has to use these. So I just picked them up for him. Nothing exciting there. Um, I grabbed two of these. I have Island, no, Fruity Punch or Island Punch brand Rylers and Purple Berry Wave. The reason I like to grab when they have this brand is you get 10 packets for the $1.25. Because if you don't get 10, it's not worth the $1.25. At Walmart, Target, whatever, you can now get these drink things cheaper than Dollar Tree. But the 10 packs are a good deal still. And I take those to work and it helps me. Alex, does anybody need a black cat? What is your problem, buddy? Um, I grabbed a yo-yo for, oh, my coworker's little boy. I'm like, why did I buy a yo-yo? For his, her, he's five and I thought he would like a yo-yo and maybe I'll put together like a little Easter bag for him with some toys. And this is just a yo-yo. It has, it's the fancy one, if that makes sense, makes a difference, but it's a yo-yo. We've all seen them. But I thought he would, he's at that age where I feel like he will enjoy it. Um, I grabbed these for a snack, but I didn't eat them. It's meat and beef and cheese sticks, um, Jack Link's brand. I love to have these in my purse while I'm out and about. I do not know what is wrong with that psycho cat of mine. I itch, see? Stop itching, Lori. Um, oh, and then I found these in the Valentine's section, but these are makeup removers that are super soft. So I'll show you. I love these, and I'm telling you, they have been a lifesaver during this whole process. Um, the bigger ones that I get at the Dollar Tree at night, I was able to just um, wet my face and use these to pat because towels, no bueno on the towels. So these are just some little heart-shaped ones. They're great. I love them. Wash my face or use this for a little soap or just plain water, and they're really soft. So I grabbed a couple extra. I use, I use them a lot. So I said, oh, those are cute. I need those. Then I found some fabric. So I bought this pat this fabric in the little strips for quilting, which is super cute. But then I said, oh, they have it in the fat quarters. And it's the bees and then the beehive fabric together. And I grabbed two bees. I'm not sure why, but I did. So um I could make a bag or something with them. And these, this is decent quality fabric. I've used it fairly regularly around my house. And it's really nice quality, especially for like project bags and stuff. Um, I will be having a floss tube up where I show you all my crafting that I've been doing. And I made a really fun project bag and I want to share it with you. And I could probably get away if I made a smaller one out of this size fabric. But, I, and I'm trying not to buy more fabric, but you know how that goes, right? I picked up a, this is just a art canvas. I need to know, I gotta find out if these are um, acid free, but I wanna use it to frame a cross stitch. And it's nice because it's already the right size to go into a painting frame that I already have. So I just grabbed this. Um, you can, I'll put some padding down and put the cross stitch over it and stretch it. And then it goes right in the frame and I won't need glass. So I just picked that up for me. And then I'm going to give these to my coworker, but they're a little paint for the same one with the little, the sun, a unicorn and a sloth. And they can... He can paint them or he can color with marker. And it's on the, can it's a stretched canvas, but I thought that would be fun for them to do. And I'm glad to see these have come back out. And I think these will be fantastic if you have any littles um, to put in Easter baskets. A couple of easel or a couple of these, one of the easels and some paint would be a great Easter basket. If you're going the non, you know, the non candy route, which I know a lot of people like to go that route, myself included. I got a couple more of these under the bed storage. These are the ones that zip on the top and um, they're great for storing holiday stuff, pillowcases, pillow sham. So these pillows here, the inside is um, 
I goose down, this pillow cover comes off. I get these at Ikea for like, you know, anywhere from $4 to like the velvet one, I think it was 14. But I have a whole bunch of them for different seasons and these are great to store in here and put in the closet and then they don't get dusty and stuff. Same with your holiday towels or anything like that. Ornaments, Christmas stuff. These, are, it's a great size, especially for like a linen closet. And that's my plan for those is to get my linen closet organized. I'm not greasy guys. I have Aquaphor on my skin. Just so you know, I'm not greasy. Well, I mean, I could be, but I'm not. Um, Fresh Start brand, which is Greenbrier. I grabbed a couple little clips, just some hair clippies. I am going to get a haircut, but sometimes I like to pull my hair out of my face, especially now because if it is on my face, it itches. But um, these are great, which is weird because this color is much looser than this color, but either way, they're a decent hair clippy. I don't have a lot of hair, so it's I don't need something giant. So I just grabbed these, and I liked the neutral color, but they came in, and they're a two-pack. Obviously, if you have a lot of hair, you may not want to go that route. Okay, last couple things. I grabbed this Perfect View. It is an adjustable laptop stand, and I, was, I just think this is fantastic because I'm forever using my laptop all over my house really i'm just gonna rip the box open but it is let's see does it have directions in here maybe no okay so on the back it tells you what to do but so the if you don't have a laptop they do overheat easily if you have them sitting on like a soft surface or not a not hard surface Hmm. Oh, did I break it? Maybe. Okay, so these legs go out like that. Oh, Lori, get your life together here. Okay, hold on. I, I unhooked it. You can move it, though. Okay, got it. So, don't be like me. Don't be a Lori. Okay. So what you'll do is you open this all the way up and then you decide how much of an angle you want for your laptop and then you can slide it right into these little plastic holes. Back here, right? And then you can put your tablet or your laptop right on here and it holds it up. I think this is great, especially like, like I said, or if you had a tablet because it is adjustable in size. If you had like an iPad or something that you wanted to utilize or your tablet or whatever, or laptop and look how easy it folds up to go into your work bag or your laptop bag. I think that's pretty cool for $1.25 and the brand is new perfect view, but here's what it looks like. So for a tablet or a laptop or your phone even, or a book, you can even use it for a book. Um, I don't know what the brand is. Trend Star Corporation is the brand. But yeah, for books, smartphone, laptop, or tablets, perfect. Love it, excited. Um, I picked up for my other brother as well. These are diabetic socks, he wears these. Uh, length and he has well diabetes and these are good because they're not overly tight on his ankles so I've been picking these up for him when I see him because he has no access to them then I found and I think I showed you before I got the Swedish fish and the macaroni and cheese the craft this is ramen top ramen cup noodles socks and this is Oreo cookie socks. So my nephew is a teenager in high school and I know he's going to love these socks. So he has four pair. The Top Ramen, Oreos, Swedish Fish, and Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. How exciting is that? So I grabbed those for him and the brand on these is Crazy Sock Company. So not, not Greenbrier, so I don't know if they'll be at every store, but you can always check. And this stuff is not all from January 3rd. I have been picking stuff up as I've been running errands. And then I found, and I'm going to donate these, 
I'm sorry, Stride Right, six pair of little girls or boys socks. They're toddler, size two to four, and they have grippies on them. I know, and they're six pair. How adorable are these? And this has some gold glitter in it. They're just cute. So I'm going to donate these to, um, I think, so where my brother is currently living, there was an outage at his apartment. So he's got a new apartment, but some people don't, and they're having to live at a hotel. And there's children involved, so I will probably take these and donate them there to um, the children. So, you know, because they lost everything in their apartment. Oh, I have more stuff. They lost everything in their apartment and it happened on Christmas day. So I do have one more bag. So let's go. What do we got in here? Oh yeah. So I grabbed some spring stuff. They have these little wooden and it's a picket fence with little flowers. I, how fun is that? And this was in the garden section at my store along with these little wooden pieces. This was also, and you get, I think, six of each you get 45 pieces and it comes in this little wooden thing and if you get some x's and o's or you could do like flowers and butterflies and make a tic-tac-toe game out of that i mean how fun is that you can give each person you're either you know whatever butterflies and flowers and you can play tic-tac-toe how fun so i grabbed that and what else did I find? I found all kinds of fun stuff. Oh, yes, yeah, same section. They had little watering cans and wheelbarrow and potted plants. I just think these are adorable and they're all in the spring section, which is super cute. And you get, um, it says six piece, but well, obviously we can see there's more than six in here. So it's just craft shapes, but I think they were confuzzled because that's way more than six. I don't know. Then they had in the farm section, I'm dying. I am literally dying here. What? It's just a wooden cow with the black on the back and a chicken. Oh, these are going in my kitchen for summertime. I can just guarantee you that on a shelf. I actually got two chickens because I might do a little cross stitch and attach it, but whatever. These are going in my kitchen. I'm excited. I'm trying to get a better glare or look because of the glare. So that's the cow and the chicken. I don't know if they had any others. I don't think I found any others. Oh, they had a pig. I didn't get the pig. Yes, I did. I lie. Here's the pig. <laughs> That's right, because I have three shelves in my kitchen, so I'm going to do farmhouse on them, and I have one of each. So I have a pig, which I think the pig would make a fantastic cross-stitch thing as well. So a pig, a cow, and a chicken. Uh, let's see what else did I find. I found some stuff, guys. Oh, they had these. They're just little on a wooden on a stick and it's a tulip and this was my mom's favorite flower so i'm gonna paint this and put it out for the summertime i her favorite flower is yellow so this will get painted yellow and it's a tulip but they had all different flowers oh and they had little pots like, like you could do a miniature garden with all these little tiny things and i just love little tiny things also these are great feet if you bought a couple packages and you wanted to raise, like make a some make something, you can use these as feet. You would just need four packages because these are three different sizes. But still, you want to turn them that way or whatever. And so, if you had like wanted to raise something up, um, also I picked up some Valentine stickers from my planner. Just plain old stickers. I love the typewriter the best and the B. Bright idea. So you get 53 pieces in here, matches, a mason jar, some bees. We go together like, oh, the little bee, the little birds. Just super cute, paper airplanes. So I grabbed those for my planner. And then they had um, craft garland with beads. So, 
I don't know what this is. This is, I know what it is. That is a, um, well, a bee, ladybug. But I thought they were just ornaments. But now I'm questioning all of my life's decisions. OMG. As I should be questioning my whole life. It's garland. With the bumblebees. What I don't like, but I can fix, is that they are going to hang sideways. But you can fix them on the string so that they hang sideways. So I have bees and ladybugs and you can paint them and there's little yellow beads in between. <laughs> and these are adorable. But you can also just hang them as like individual beads, individual ornaments, or you can do the garland like that. So that is everything I have for now from um, the Dollar Tree. I'm so excited. And yeah, I will be back on a semi-regular schedule at this point, I hope. I'll be working a little bit at my part-time job and my daytime job has been super busy, but we'll get back on track. We have lots of fun stuff coming ahead and I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will talk with you later. Bye.